Yo. So today we will be taking a look at the bone influence converter. And for that, I've already went ahead and added a circle to our space here. So let's go ahead and right click the origin point, convert, and click on bone influence. Now what that does, it automatically adds a bone to influence our object here. So if we move the bone, we can see that it already is influencing our object. But notice that we don't see a skeletal, uh, skeleton layer over here. So the bone is directly on the object itself or within the object itself. So if we go to the properties of the object, we can see the, um, the, the properties here for the bone. So if you need a quick and easy way for a bone to add a bone to influence an object, you can use the bone influence tool. And we can also add other objects and let them have their own bones. So we can um, convert this one to a bone influence. And we can see that this is controlling the object here. So let me go ahead and move this over here. Right, and we see that this also still has its own bone. Uh, the cool thing about this is that we can parent independent objects to each other using the bones, right? And again, you can't see the bones over here in the layers panel because they are within the objects themselves. So let's say we wanted to parent this one to the small one here. Um, so I'm going to have the, the small one control the large one here. So I'm going to click on the bone. I'm going to name the bones just so I don't get confused. So I'm just going to call this one big and I'm going to call this one small. And now I'm going to click on this one and where it says parent, I'm going to change this to small. So it is now being influenced, influenced by the smaller bone here. And we can see that it's now controlling it. And this one can also still move independently. So that's pretty much what the bone influence converter does, right? It allows you to add a bone to the object to influence the, the, um, the object. The main difference being it applies the bone onto the object and it doesn't create a layer for the bone in the, the layers panel. So yeah, that's it for this tutorial and I will see you in the next one. Yo, Kimari. Yo, Kimari.